Monica, a daughter of a small time farmer in a village in Karnataka, joined the biotech degree at the age of probably 20 and she had high hopes that she will be able to get a job and she will be able to grow in her career. But as soon as she joined her bachelor's, she was hit with a tsunami of negative reviews about the biotech degree and she was devastated. Followed with that, she went to internet. Somehow she found me. She reached out to me crying. She said, sir, I had high hopes. My father has sold his land to get me admitted into this college. And now I am seeing that this college won't be able to provide me placements. The practicals are not happening. College is not having the infrastructure. And I'm, I don't know what I'll do after my B.Tech biotech degree. And that is where I felt I should make this video. So this video is in response to her and many of you who are feeling the same way. I remember when I started my bachelor's degree, the first day in my class after the orientation session, I turned back and I asked this question to my friend also. What is the scope of this course? Why are we even doing this course? Are we even going to get a job in this course? Fast forward to today, I'm proud to tell you that things have changed. Back then in 2006, yes, there were no options. Truth be told, even till 2018, there were very less options in the biotech scenario. But things have started changing during and after the pandemic. So I don't want you to be disappointed. Rather in this video, I'm going to tell you the myths which you should avoid. Now, many of you are still reading those old comments or those old seniors who are giving you these kind of reviews that you don't have jobs in biotech. It's no longer the truth. Things have changed. In last six years, biotech industry has grown from a $60 billion industry to a $150 billion industry. That means a jump of $90 billion. Whether it is biopharmaceuticals, whether it is your agri-tech, med-tech, biomedical, wearables, anything, it's all getting revolutionized. And today we have more biotech startups than it was back then. And if you want proof of that, I'm putting a link in the description, the list of top 100 biotech companies and pharma companies in India where you can look for a job and also a list of top 100 startups across the globe as well as in India where you can get a job. Remember startups are easy for a job. It is easy to get a job in startups, right? So now let me come back to the video. The first point I would like to say is please don't be disappointed that there is no job. There are jobs and we have a dedicated placement team in place and you can always contact us if you want placement. If you're not getting a job, we have dedicated teams in place for this also now. Remember in during my Diwali gift video I had told you about this so that team is in place and they are already doing the placements now another myth you all always start getting from your seniors or other people that without a PhD you cannot grow in this particular field that is no longer the truth the truth is today you can get better jobs if you are just a master's you don't need a PhD. In fact, after a PhD, maybe your area of getting a job becomes narrower because your specialization is higher. But after MSc, you can get any kind of jobs. You can become a science communicator. You can become a professor. You can become a scientist. You can get into sales and marketing. You can get into quality assurance, quality checks, and you can also get into production department, formulation department. Many jobs are available. Okay, bioinformatics is one such field, AIML is one such field. So you don't need a PhD to get a job in biotech, especially this trend is there in Bangalore, Mysore, Hyderabad, Ahmedabad, Himachal Pradesh, Delhi, these places, you, they don't ask for a PhD unless they are looking for a very high position. Yes, established biopharmaceutical company will ask a PhD, but okay, again, rare cases when they want a scientist. But for the regular job, they're not asking a PhD, they're asking MSc, right? The second myth which people have is the career is slow and work-life balance is bad, okay? So the truth is the career is no longer slow. With the advent of a rapid advancement in biotech, the companies are growing like anything and I can vouch for this. I am seeing that growth in biotech in Bangalore. So rapid advancements in biotech, bioinformatics, AI-driven research is opening doors for fast-paced growth sector and roles like data scientist big data biologist, regulatory affairs specialist, biotech consultant are coming up and they are in more in demand. In fact, two weeks back, one of our student, he is a PhD with, I think, five, seven years of experience. And he got a job in ENY, Ernst & Young, as a biotech consultant. And his starting package is 25 lakhs per annum. So you can imagine 
he grabbed that right so companies biotech investors are also hiring okay now the third myth you all are having is limited job opportunities are there see i'll tell you one thing if you believe there are limited job opportunities then you will feel it is limited only the truth is biotechnica is posting suppose 100 jobs every month suppose but then there are 1000 jobs we are not allowed to post you know why because these are secret projects which is being done by these biotech and pharma companies so they don't want to post or disclose the jobs to the general public otherwise their competitors will get to know okay what exactly they're working so they will just contact us and say do you have any student in your courses who may be eligible for this and then we place them right why they are doing this because they don't want to disclose what exactly is the requirement I got a recent requirement for a bioinformatician with AI ML expertise and uh, they were initially looking for 3 to 4 years of experience. Now, after they spoke to us, we said that see you will not get anybody with AI ML experience 3 to 4 years and we negotiated with them and this agreed for any student who is with us and has 1 year of experience they will take and the starting salary package is 15 lakhs per annum. But you would not have seen this job on Biotechnica. because we are not allowed to post this job because the project is confidential so we cannot do that right and the companies are ready to pay us to provide this kind of talent so the jobs are available in plethora opportunities are there but at this juncture what i can say is you are still reading those old comments and reviews which is not relevant in last 6 years the biotech industry has grown huge in fact 2025 is going to be the game changer year the ai year in biotech So another myth people have is I am not seeing whatever you are saying bioinformatics related jobs AI ML related jobs you are not seeing because these kind of jobs are again hidden no company wants to disclose that they are working on AI did you get to know that open ai was working on chat gpt kind of a product before they launched no right most companies keep their projects secret and in biotech because they have to get a patent they cannot disclose to general public and that is why you are not seeing more of ai related jobs in other job portals but they are hiring through us they are hiring through consultancies like us right so that is where this myth must not be there in your mind now the fourth one which many students have is you should have lab expertise to get a job in biotech that's no longer truth you should have good soft skills good understanding of technical skills data analysis skills and even if your wet lab skills are weak or you don't want to work in a lab still jobs are available biotech product manager jobs are there regulatory affairs jobs are there clinical research jobs are there clinical data management jobs are there ai ml analyst is there bioinformatician is there For this you don't need wet lab experience yes a good understanding is required and that is the going to be the game changer here if you think that you don't have lab experience or you don't want to work in a lab no problem biotech still has space for you now moving to the last myth which people have is high salaries are uncommon very less people get high salaries see i'll tell you one thing no company will give you low salary in mega cities small cities anyways biotech companies are not there in a place like bengaluru you will not survive if you don't get above 20 25000 so nobody will give you less than that and if they are giving you should not take also but high salaries where it comes 10 lakhs per annum 15 lakhs per annum is available I recently placed MSc postgraduate in biotechnology in a cosmetics cosmeceuticals company and her starting package was 12 lakhs per annum after one year it became 15 lakhs per annum third year she is getting 18 lakhs per annum so you can see the growth in last 3 years for her it started at 10 now it has increased by 80% it is 18 lakhs per annum so high paying salaries are there but only for those who make themselves valuable for the company and how do you become valuable by staying longer in biotech companies see other companies like it and all the more you switch jobs maybe you will grow but in biotech companies the longer you stay your value increases because you have more work experience and they don't have the bandwidth to, to go and hire again and explain all their confidential projects right that is where high salaries are more common in biotech but they are not disclosed right So that is uh, one thing you should know have faith in your profession and of course follow biotechnica study learn the concept implement the concept do not worry about the people who are talking negative if you take help of people like biotechnica you will definitely be placed and people who have career break please don't be disheartened biotech industry has a place for you as a manager a managerial positions r&d managers regulatory managers this kind of positions you can always join back by learning you know unlearn the previous things 
reskill yourself with the help of biotechnica and then go ahead and join these companies companies are willing to take they are not getting the right talent and you guys are complaining that jobs are not there the truth is you have to get started and the first step will be be positive and start following biotechnica you're going to win all the best